Hello students. So this is the third question in the series of orthographic projection. And this is a question belongs to third angle projection. In this question, you are going to draw your front view, top view and left hand side view of the given figure in third angle projection. So let's start the solution. First of all, you have to make the XY line. So this is the XY line and in third angle projection, top view is above XY line and front view is below the XY line according to the reference plane. And for the side view, we need a profile plane line and side view is on the left side of profile plane because it is a left hand side view and it is a third angle projection. Before starting the question, I would like to give the naming to vertices of this 3D figure so that our solution can be easy to understand. So let's start to give the naming to each vertex of this 3D figure. So students in this question, it is not given which is front view and top view. So you can start by yourself, which one is front view you would like to take and which one you want to take a side view. So from this side, I put the arrow. So this could be the front view from this side. When observer seen from this side, it could be a front view. And from this side, when observer come to this side, because it is a left hand side view. So observer have to come to its own left side to see the side view. So this could be the left hand side view. Now let's start the solution. So initially I'm going to make a front view and for front view you have to take a scale and first of all you make a line BC which is 100 mm. So with the help of scale I'm making a this 100 mm line. So this is a BC line. After that our line CD which is 45 mm with the help of scale. So I take a scale and with the help of scale I put a 45 mm. So this is a D point. You will see that my DG is 25 mm. DG is 25 mm but FO is 75 mm because 100 minus 25 then we have a FO line which is 75. So instead of making a different line DG and FO, I make a straight line from D point towards O. So because when you see from the front, you will see the complete line from D to O which is 100 mm now. So I make a complete line. So this is point O and then I complete the OB line. Because when you see from the front, this O point is visible and B is also visible. So from the front, it is complete one line. So this is a OB line. So I complete the outline of the front view. Now with the help of scale, I take a measurement of DG, which is 25 mm like this. So this is G point. Now from this point G, I'm taking a scale and put a downward lines of GH, which is 30 mm. So this is point is H, which is 30 mm. You can easily see that this GH is 30 mm because this is a 15 mm. This is a 15 mm and complete is 45. So 45 minus 15, we have a 30 mm. So now I'm going to make a HQ line. So you can see this, this is HQ line. I simply make a line towards BO line, which gives me a HQ line. After that, you have to make this J I line. So how to make this J I line? I take a scale and mark a 15 mm from Q and J. So this point could be a J and from this point J, I make a line towards G H, which is I point as my complete front view of this figure. Now I'm going to make a top view with the help of front view. I'm going to take a projection lines towards upside. And when you see from the top view, this is a top view. You will see this P, E, D, G. So I'm starting. I just make a line over here, which cut the projection lines from the front view. So I'm not going to take any uh, dimensions with the help of scale because when you cut these projection lines, this automatically would give me a 100 mm. So this is 100 mm from the top and this could be a P and E point. In the same way, 
downwards 75 mm so this is 75 mm downwards and this point could be a d okay so this is a 75 mm in the same way now i come towards g point and i know that from d to g and g to q it is visible from the top view which is again 100 mm so i, I make a 100 mm line and this point could be a q and i complete the pq line with the help of a scale and after that i'm going to make a gf line and from d to g so this is again a g point from the top view i will see when you see from the top view this g is also visible from the top and there is no need to take a dimension with the help of scale i just take a g point over here because this is automatically 25 mm when to take the projection from the front view so from g i make a gf line so this point would be a f and this gf gives me a 50 mm and how this is 50 mm you can see from this 3d figure when you see from the top this fg line is 50 mm because your p o o j and j q these all are of same dimensions 25 mm so when you relieve this 25 mm from 75 mm it will rest with a 50 mm so from f now from f i will make a line f o like this so this could be a o point and again when you see from the top this j i line this j i line is also visible so from this j i line i can make like this i will take a scale and from o i will take a 25 mm downwards like this and this could be my j point and from j i make a line like this towards f g which gives me a i so this is the completion of my top view in third angle projection of this figure now for side view i have to make a line at an angle of 45 degree from this intersection points of x y and profile plane line now this is a 45 degree line and from top view i will take a projections from each point towards this 45 degree line again take a projections from this 45 degree line towards downside like this in the same way i will take a projections from the front view like this so wherever these projection lines from the top view and front view cuts that could be a side view of this figure so how to make a side view so this could be the left hand side view i'm going to start from extreme of it so from p point i'm going to take a reference of p point and make a line p a so this could be a p a line and this is a p point and this is a a point i'm taking a projection of p point from the top view towards this side now from a point i'm going to make a line a b and this could be a b point and what is the dimension of a b that could be easily defined from 3d figure that is 75 mm there is no need to take the dimension with the help of scale because we already take 75 mm from top view i already take the projections of 75 mm so these extreme lines gives me a 75 mm now i complete this one to the vertical sides so this is a bg point so from this b point towards this g point so when you see from the left side it will give me a vertical line like this so i complete the pg line right now now on i have to make because from the side view this on and jk is also visible as we know that this point is o because po is 25 mm so you can see this i take a projection from this o point and p point like this so this give me a 25 mm okay and from o to n i will take with the help of scale so this is a 15 mm and downwards i take a line like this so this point is a n again i take a scale and n j point is 25 mm so you can see this is n and j and this is 25 mm from the 3d figure so with the help of scale i take a 25 mm 
and this would be a J point. In the same way, J2K, which is again 15 mm, and K2Q, like this. So, students, this is the completion of front view, top view, and left hand side view of this 3D figure. So, there is a no hidden line in these figures when you see from the front view, top view, and left hand side view. But if you are going to make a right hand side view, then there could be a chances of hidden lines in this. But we are going to make a only left hand side view. So there is no hidden edges in this figure. And this is a completion of my answer. If you have any queries related to this question, you can comment in the comment section. Thank you.